Hey, what's up? It's Omari Harabin. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to migrate from Squarespace to Shopify. Uh, this is something that we do at squaregenie.com. And I thought it would be useful to share how we actually go about that process, just in case you wanted to do it yourself or um, maybe you want us to do it for you. At least you know what goes into it. So uh, here's the process as I've outlined it. Uh, the first step is to migrate your store data. And to do that, we use Lit Extension. Uh, I made a video on that, which I'll, I'll link to. And uh, I'll talk more about that in a moment. Um, and then once you've got all of your store data in Shopify, you're going to want to customize your Shopify theme. Maybe you want to uh, upgrade it and, and buy a premium theme, or maybe you want to just customize one of the default themes. It's up to you. Um, then you can recreate your pages, your Squarespace pages, in Shopify and there are some SEO considerations that you want to make uh, spelled that wrong um, there are some SEO considerations you want to make and we'll talk about that in a moment and then from there you want to turn on your payments apps and then switch the domain all right so jump into the process um, step one so when you use lit extension it takes your products your customers your orders um, your categories and it sends all that to Shopify um, even your store coupons and discounts as well as blog posts what it doesn't migrate is it doesn't migrate all of your pages um, it doesn't migrate the additional info sections uh, if you have any content there for your products um, yeah that you'll have to recreate manually now, uh, once you've got that data over, right, now you're going to log into Shopify. All of your products are going to be there, your collections. Um, now you need a, a Shopify theme. Now, if you don't, if you're not super attached to your Squarespace design and you don't mind um, using one of the Shopify themes, I recommend buying one from the theme store or um, a site called Out of the Sandbox. But if you want to do it yourself perhaps and you, and you like the page builder aspect of Squarespace then there are some page builders uh, for Shopify that you can use uh, one of them being Shogun the other PageFly uh, I think I prefer Shogun over PageFly but they're both uh, pretty flexible in what they allow you to do um, now if you want to mimic your Squarespace site in, sh in Shopify exactly um, and you don't want to do it yourself when well, that's where uh, Square Genie would come in. Or you could hire a developer on somewhere like Upwork or wherever else you can find Shopify developers. Um, and now you're ready to recreate your pages. So you've got your, your customized theme. Your products are all already in there. The only thing missing at this point um, are your pages and your your apps and stuff so you're going to recreate your pages keep all the content the same don't change anything um, copy over your legal pages you want to customize your checkout um, test your forms and for SEO uh, the lit extension tool that migrates all your store data it also um, does redirects as well so all of your product and store redirects it will do that but for pages you're going to have to create those redirects yourself um, because the URL structure in Shopify is a little different. So if you've got an about page on your Squarespace site and it's just backslash about on Shopify, it's going to be backslash pages backslash about. So you'll have to create a redirect in Shopify um, to account for that change. Uh, your meta descriptions, you can use a tool like Screaming Frog. Um, or you can just manually go through and copy and paste your meta descriptions from uh, Squarespace to Shopify, um, as well as your image tags and internal links. All right, so now the final uh, step is to turn on your payment gateways um, and integrate any apps that you might have, uh, set up your taxes, your shipping and delivery settings all in Shopify. Um, and then you're ready to go from there. You're ready to move your domain over. Now, if your domain is is uh, hosted by Squarespace, meaning you bought your domain from Squarespace directly, then you're going to need to transfer it. 
Um, but if you got your domain from a third party like GoDaddy or Namecheap, then you can just switch the domain. Um, it's a lot easier to do that. You can just disconnect from Squarespace and then connect that domain to Shopify. Once you've done that, you're ready to launch. So hopefully you found this uh, helpful, useful. Um, you know, as usual, you can leave me a comment. Um, I try to get to these uh, YouTube questions a lot faster than I used to. So you can ask a question here um, or you can email me omari at uh, sqspthemes.com. Peace.